One day, the ponies were giving an ancient castle a magical makeover. And their friend Spike wanted to help. Good old Spike is here, ready to do his part. Princess Twilight Sparkle told Spike that they didn't need his help, and he felt left out. It looks like we've got it, Spike. Why don't you find a quiet spot and finish reading your comic? Spike was reading his comic book in the library when he found a tiny secret message at the end. I know I saw a magnifying glass lying around last time I was here. When Spike read the secret message, he was pulled through a magical portal along with his pony friends. Take a closer look. To join the adventure in this book? What does that even mean? The magical portal brought Spike and the ponies to Mare Tropolis, the city inside his comic book. You're the, the superheroes for my comic book. It somehow zapped us all in here. Spike and his friends became the heroes of the story and had to defeat the villain in order to return home. So some pony zap us back out! My comic book! It said the way to get back to where we started was to defeat the maniac! Twilight Sparkle was now the masked Matterhorn, and Applejack was Mistress Marvelous! Just then, the villain of the story, the Maniac, appeared and taunted the ponies. Power ponies! <laughs> How kind of you to join us! <laughs> she had just stolen a powerful orb and was trying to escape with it. The Maniac threw a mailbox right where Pinkie Pie was standing. But Pinky moved just in time. Pinky! Where'd she go? Spike explained to his friends that they all had superpowers now. They were the power ponies. She could be miles away from here by now. Pinky is Philly second, the fastest pony in all of Metropolis. Rainbow Dash was Zap, and her power was controlling the mighty forces of nature. Rainbow Dash wanted to make a lightning bolt, but she accidentally made a tornado. Spike and the ponies were swept up into the tornado. He tried to guide the ponies out of it. Fluttershy, your saddle rager, lose your temper and you'll turn into a huge super strong monster. Oh gosh, that wouldn't be very polite. Fluttershy's power only worked when she was angry, and Rarity's power didn't help at all. Rarity, just think of something, anything, and your bracelet makes it appear! The tornado tossed Spike out onto the sidewalk. He tried to steal the orb back from the maniac. The Electro Orb! Why, thank you, Humdrum. <laughs> Spike tripped and lost the orb. And that's when he realized that he was Humdrum, the clumsy sidekick. The tornado wound down and the ponies were free. But the maniac was getting away with the orb. If we want to get back to Ponyville, I think we have to stop the maniac from using her doomsday device to destroy it. No biggie. I was already awesome. And now we've all got superpowers. Almost all of us have superpowers. Spike knew what needed to be done. But he felt useless because he didn't have any superpowers. You must have them too, Spiky Boo. Your character is wearing a cape. Yeah, for absolutely no reason. He's pretty much useless.
Good thing you're not really humdrum, then. Yeah, good thing. Just then, the maniac returned with her hairspray ray of doom to freeze the power ponies in place. The hairspray ray of doom! It stops you in your tracks and renders your powers useless! <laughs> the ponies were frozen stiff and couldn't use their powers. The maniac took them away but left Spike behind. Don't spray! <laughs> oh, humdrum. Why in all of Meritropolis would I use the hairspray ray of doom on you? Rather pointless, don't you think? The maniac took the ponies to her secret lair and told them all her wicked plans for Meritropolis. I don't really interrupt, but aren't you forgetting about some pony? Humdrum, little guy, no superpowers whatsoever. <laughs> He's utterly useless. Maybe in your world, but in our world, Spike, uh, Humdrum, always comes through when we need him. Always. I'm not like Humdrum. When my friends really need me, I do come through. And they need me now. Spike followed the maniac to her lair and invented a plan to rescue his friends. Spike zipped across the warehouse and knocked over the hairspray ray of doom. Now the ponies could use their powers again. The ponies escaped from their cage and used their powers to defeat the maniac's henchmen. Rainbow Dash wanted Fluttershy to get mad and use her special power. But Fluttershy wasn't mad enough yet. Get mad! I'm trying! <laughs> Spike knew that Fluttershy's power was the key to destroying the Maniac's Doomsday device. Fluttershy, we need you! You have to power up! I'm sorry. It's just that nothing is making me mad. Suddenly... The maniac swatted away a little firefly, and that made Fluttershy very mad. Oh goodness, are you okay? Fluttershy was angry and turned into a huge, super strong monster. Are you kidding me? I mean, I know you're evil and everything, but you hurt a teensy little harmless firefly? Really? The maniac shot her doomsday beam at Fluttershy, but it reflected off of her and destroyed the device instead. Spike congratulated the ponies on saving Meritropolis, and the portal brought every pony back to Equestria. Once again, the day is saved by... Whoa! <sighs> the ponies thanked Spike for saving the day and let him know how grateful they are that he's their friend. We wouldn't have made it without you, Spike. And I hope you realize that just because we don't always need your help, it doesn't mean that we don't think you're helpful. Spike was happy to be part of the team and realized that friendship is the greatest superpower of all. And that you don't have to have superpowers to be a super friend. The ponies let Spike help them finish their magical makeover. And every pony celebrated by having a dance party. The end. <laughs> <laughs>